Hello, welcome to today's class. Uh, my name is Teacher Steve, and we are still looking at uh, this is SANS, and we are looking at human body. Remember, in our last class, we looked at the parts of the circulatory system and we were able to see them, which were the heart, the blood, and the blood vessels. We looked at the heart. And you were able to see the components of the blood, which you mentioned them, the red blood cells, the white blood cells, the platelets, and the plasma. So today, we are going to look at the blood vessels. So, by the end of this lesson, you should be able to identify and describe the blood vessels together with their functions. Now, what are blood vessels? These are tubes which blood passes through. Remember, once the blood is pumped from the heart, for the blood to reach the different parts of the body, it has to pass through the tubes. And these tubes are what we call the blood vessels. Now, these blood vessels are categorized into three, or, or in other words, you can talk of the parts of the blood vessel. And the first part that we have, number one, we have the arteries. One, we have the arteries. This is the largest blood vessel. Number two, we have the veins. Veins is another blood vessel which are located, they are located in the, in the surface of your body. They are not deep in the body. That's why you can see them easily. Then number three, we have the capillaries. Number three, we have the capillaries. These are the connecting tissues. They connect the arteries and the veins. But later on, we are going to see how they function. Now, we are going to start by looking at the arteries. Let us look at the arteries into details. I said these are the largest blood vessel. These are the largest blood vessel. So what you should know about the arteries is that the main artery is the altar. The main artery, that is number one. The main artery, artery is the outer. Is the outer. We have other arteries which we are going to look at when we'll be looking at the heart. So the main artery is the outer. We have other arteries like the pulmonary arteries, which are which we, we are going to look at when we'll be looking at the, the heart. Next, remember arteries they carry the blood away from the heart once the blood has been pumped from the heart remember it comes with a very high pressure to other parts of the body so these arteries are the ones that carry this blood and this kind of blood is oxygenated blood oxygenated blood means a blood with oxygen it has a lot of oxygen and then the oxygenated blood means a blood with no oxygen so once this blood is from the heart, it is oxygenated, it has oxygen. And when it goes to other parts of the body, like the lungs, you see where the exchange of gas takes place there. And this blood now comes back with a lot of carbon dioxide. And we said that it is, it is deoxygenated blood. Remember in our, in our last class, we also talked of its color. And, and we said that it, the oxygenated blood is bright red and it, the oxygenated blood is dull red. Now, let's look at the characteristics of arteries. How do they behave? I'll start by first of all drawing the structure so that we can tell the characteristics as we look at it. This is how it looks like. So, this part here, this is the thick elastic wall. It is thick, as you can see. You're going to see why is it thick. This is the thick elastic wall. And then this one is the lumen. This one here is the lumen. And this lumen, this, this lumen is narrow. So we talk of narrow, narrow lumen. Now, from what we can see, this hollow part here, this hollow part, this one is the narrow lumen. So even before we go deeper, characteristics, characteristics. 
Characteristic simply means description. It's like describing something. It's like describing something. So that's what you want. That, that's what you want to see. Characteristics of arteries. Arteries. Remember, I said they're located deep inside the body. Now, from from what we can see here, the first thing that we should see here is the first characteristic is they have thick elastic wall. They have thick. They have thick elastic wall. This one here, it's very thick. If you see the the distance from from the from the lumen to the to the to this end wall here, it's very thick. It's thick. They have thick elastic wall. Why? Now we said that these arteries they carry the blood from the heart to all parts of the body. When the blood is coming from the heart, the blood is under a very high pressure. So if if suppose the the the, the wall here was thin, then it means that it means that the since the body is on high pressure it means that it can easily break this wall here so the purpose of this thickness of this wall is to withstand the blood with high pressure from the heart and that is why no matter how, no matter the pressure of the blood this this wall here cannot break so the, the wall here helps helps it to withstand to withstand that pressure so they have thick walls to withstand to withstand blood with high pressure with high pressure is a very common question make sure you take note of you make sure you take note of that in exams you will be asked why do the arteries have the thick wall so you have to say that they have the thick wall because they to withstand the blood with high pressure from the heart and remember i said that the blood from the heart is always oxygenated very very important number two they carry blood away from the heart Number two characteristics, they carry blood away. They carry blood away from the heart. From the heart. The heart is the pumping machine. It pumps the blood. It pumps the blood. That is why even if you if you if you get hold if you hold your chest, the the heart is found in the right part of the of the body in the left part sorry in the left part so if you hold it like this you will hear some pulse it's beating pa, pa, pa. it's the blood pumping it's the blood pumping so number two they carry blood away from the heart they carry blood away from the heart number three they have pulses number three they have pulses they have pulses Actually, you can't see them you cannot see them but 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 if you look at your hands you can see the veins but for this one you can't see them they are deep inside the body so they have pulses what is a pulse a pulse this is this is simply the, the, the there's that if you if if you hold your chest like this you will hear something beating like this pop 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 that one is the pulse also if you hold your neck like this if you hold your neck you will there is something beating there is something beating that that one is what we call the the pulse so pulse in simple terms is simply a heartbeat is an is an indicator of pumping action of blood it shows that the blood is pumping in your body so they have pulses then number four number four we can also say number four we can also say uh, they do not have valves we, they do not have valves they do not have valves i know you're wondering what are these they do not have valves valves we are going to look at them we will see them when we'll be looking at the veins valves these are simply structures which help the blood not to flow back why do if you look at the arteries the blood inside the arteries are in a very now they don't need to have these valves because this blood since it is in high pressure it automatically cannot go back it can't go back it cannot go back so that's why they don't have those valves. So these valves, the valves help help in preventing the backflow of blood. They help in preventing the backflow of blood. Something to note, you can note it down in your books. You can note it down. All arteries, all arteries carry oxygenated blood except except pulmonary artery. Note that please. All arteries 
and you are going to see why is it that this pulmonary artery don't carry the oxygenated blood but you will see them when we will be, we'll be looking at that so note it all arteries carry oxygenated blood except the pulmonary artery which carry deoxygenated blood without oxygen deoxygenated blood from the heart to the lungs take note of that so we move to our next blood vessel number two blood vessel number two blood vessel number two which are the veins let's look at the veins also please note that the main artery is the aorta take note of that don't forget that those are the questions that are likely to come in exams you'll be asked the main artery is dashed also make sure you take note of this this structure here they can draw a diagram like this and then they ask you to name the part label let me talk of x and and, and tell the function so if you look at this you just have to identify the part first this one is the is the artery and this part this is the thick elastic wall and the thick elastic wall helps in withstanding the blood with high pressure let's move to the next one the next one we are looking at the veins veins these are very simple they are not located deep they are not deep look at your hands fold your finger if you fold your hand like this if you fold your hand like this what do you see you see some some structures or lines this one's here this one's here those are what those are what we call the veins you can easily see them you can easily see them from outside those are what we call the veins those are what we call the veins remember the largest vein is the pulmonary vein which we'll see when we'll be looking at the heart note that the largest vein is the pulmonary vein that is the largest vein the largest vein is the pulmonary vein is the pulmonary vein this is the largest vein the largest vein is the pulmonary vein for these ones they carry blood towards the heart not away from the heart that was the arteries for these ones they carry blood they carry blood they carry blood towards the heart that is a blood from from all parts of the body to the heart so they carry blood they carry blood they carry blood towards the heart they carry blood towards the heart very very important take note of that they carry blood towards the heart now remember we have got the main vein the main vein just take note of it the main vein is the vena cava the main vein the main i know this one can confuse but i'm going to explain the main vein is the vena cava the main vein the main vein is the vena cava now in exams you will be asked which one of the following is the main vein which one of the following is the main vein don't confuse the main vein with the largest vein the largest vein is the pulmonary vein and the main vein is the vena cava you're going to learn more about them when we are going to looking at the heart later 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 now let's see the characteristics of veins before looking at the characteristics i want us to, uh, i want to draw it and we are going to see how it looks like this is the structure of the vein and it should be very keen mm -hmm. something of this sort now if you look at this one here this one is the lumen this one is the lumen now remember while you are drawing the arteries arteries they also add lumen now the, for this one here if you look at this just be if you're if you're very keen you'll be able to see the difference let me just put it let me just put the arteries here so that you can see this difference let me just put it very fast let me just put the arteries here so that we can be able to differentiate them from what we are talking about here now let's this now now this was the artery and this one is the vein these are the veins now if you look at this lumen here 
and this lumen here. They are very different. This one is wide. This one is wide. This one is wide lumen. Wide lumen. And this one is narrow in arteries. In veins, it is wide lumen. In veins, it is wide lumen. And then, if you look at the walls, the walls here, they have thin walls. Thin walls. These are the thin walls. These are the thin walls. The walls here are very thin compared to the walls in the arteries, which were very thick. Now, why do they have the thin walls? They have the thin walls because the blood that are the blood here are under low pressure. So they don't have to have the thick wall. The blood here is under low pressure. Because remember, this blood is from all parts of the body to the heart. So they carry the blood towards the heart, not away from the heart. If you talk about heart, you can have pressure you. But now, once it is from the, the other parts of the body, it is under low pressure. That's why this, this wall here is not thick. It is thin. And it, since, since it is thin, it means that it cannot break because that blood from all parts of the body is under low pressure. I think that one is gotten. Then they have the valves. This, these are the valves here. These are the valves. Now, blood under, under low pressure can easily go back. Are you getting that? It can easily go back. So that's why they have these valves. These valves pre prevent the backflow of blood. They prevent the backflow of blood. The blood is under very low pressure. It's moving slowly, meaning that it can easily come back. And when that blood comes back, it can cause problems. So we want the blood to move in the right direction. As it is supposed to to move so the valves here prevent the valves here prevent the backflow of blood so if i ask you to give me the characteristics of characteristics of veins i know you already know it characteristics of veins because you already have it here number one they have valves very simple that is the first thing they have valves they have valves number two just what you are seeing, they have wide lumen and thin walls. Those are the characteristics. They have wide lumen, they have wide lumen and thin walls. Wide lumen and thin walls. Now one, they have valves, which you can see here. Now remember, this is the direction of the blood. Blood is flowing this direction, okay, towards the heart. We assume that the heart is on that side, so it is towards the heart, not away from the heart. Then, number two, they have a wide lumen and thin wall because they don't carry the blood with high pressure. Number three, number three, they are close to the body. You can see them. They are close. They are close to the body surface, to the body surface. You can easily see them. If you go to the hospital, the doctor can inject a syringe on your, on your vein and you know how it, how it feels when they are injected at the veins. So you can easily see them, they are located on the surface of the body. Another one, blood flows smoothly in them. Blood flows. Blood flows smoothly. Blood flows smoothly. It's not under pressure. It's very smooth due to the presence of the valves. Because of the valves, I say, because of the valves. Because of the valves, the blood flows smoothly because of the valves. Point to note. Put it down. Point to note. All veins. All veins. All veins carry. All veins carry deoxygenated blood. Once the blood is from the from the other parts of the body, it doesn't have oxygen. So all veins carry deoxygenated blood, except the pulmonary vein, which carries oxygenated blood from the lungs to the heart. Now, let's look at the last blood vessel, which are the capillaries. The last blood vessel is the capillaries. That's the last blood vessel that I want us to look at. The blood vessel is the capillaries. Capillaries. What you need to know about this one? They're the smallest 
blood vessel. Very important. You can be asked in exams. They are the, you have the smallest and you have the largest. The largest, the, the largest are the arteries. So they are the smallest, smallest blood vessel. You can see them. I know you're wondering how, where are they? How will you know them? Now, okay, these ones, they are all over the body. Look at your friend's eye. You will see there are some small, that dot, they are dot, dot at the eye. If you look at the eye, you see dot, dot, structure. Those are the capillaries. I, I believe you can see them. Just, just be very keen on your friend's eye and you're going to see how they look like. I want, you're going to see how they look like. Those ones are the capillaries. Some are reddish, some are reddish. Those are the capillaries. I remember they are all over, all over your body. Now, let's look at the characteristics of the capillaries. Characteristics of the cap. They are also connecting tissues. They are connecting tissue. They connect the veins and the arteries. They connect them together. So once we once we once we draw them, once we draw them, you will you will see how they connect. You will see how they connect. Now I want us to, to, to have a structure of it. After that, we are going to tell the characteristics by just looking at it. Let's draw it here. So this is how it looks like. This something, let me just put it here. So remember I said it connects veins and arteries. So let me just draw this. That's, that's how it looks like. Now, from what we just learned, I want you to identify these parts. In exams, you'll be asked to identify you'll be asked to identify this part and this part from what we did it's very simple if you look at this one this part here this this part here this part here is uh, uh this is narrow this is wide this is the lumen this part here is wide and we, we know that the blood vessel with the wide lumen is the vein so these ones are the veins if you look at the lumen here the lumen is very wide so automatically this is the vein this is the vein very important you can be asked this this blood vessel here yeah. remember i said capillary connects the two tissues it connects the arteries and it connects the veins so that's why you can see this is the this is the capillary and it connects this one and this one here so this is the vein this is the vein this is the vein and this one if you look at the lumen here it's very narrow very narrow and thick walls automatically means that this one is the artery so these are the arteries this one is the artery this one is the artery that one is the artery and now the one that is connecting the two of them this one the, the one that is connecting the two tissues is the capillary very simple is the capillary very simple is the capillary now once you have the diagram you can now tell the characteristics you can now tell the characteristics so let's look at the characteristics of artery characteristics of arteries characteristics of arteries number one it connects it connects the vein and the arteries that is the one that, that is the first thing it connects arteries and veins it connects it connects arteries and uh, arteries and veins it connects arteries and veins this number one number two if you can see they do not have valves there are no valves here that is number two they do not have valves they do not have valves there is number two number three number three let's look at number three they are found all over the body you should not they are found all over the body they are found all over they are found all over the body number three they are found all over the body so they allow waste materials from the body tissues to enter the excretory organs. There's another that one you, you can write it down. They allow waste materials, they allow waste materials from the body tissues 
to enter excretory organs such as kidney so i think you've, you've gotten that make sure that you study and you get to know more about them make sure you have those features at your finger points at your finger points now uh i want you to go at your own time at your own time you can try and answer the following questions number one one which blood vessel which blood vessel carry blood away from the heart which blood vessel carry blood away from the heart number two which blood vessel carry blood towards the heart which blood vessel carry blood towards the heart next question number three the smallest blood vessels are known as dash very simple things that we just looked at here the smallest blood vessels are known as dash number four the blood vessels that have valves the blood vessels that have valves are called dash it's very simple questions number five the main artery the main artery is the dash the main artery is the dash the last questions all veins all veins carry the oxygenated blood except dash all veins carry the oxygenated blood except dash so go and try those questions at your own time also make sure that you read your notes you can also refer to the textbooks as you read your notes until next time have a wonderful time thank you